the moment now, um, we're trying to gather more information about the person that uh, uh, that uh, allegedly you know, went to our back site for the third dose no? uh, and uh, posted it on uh, Facebook uh, saying that uh, the person has already gotten his booster shot. No? So we're also coordinating with the city of Mandaluyong to gather more information. And then after which uh, we're also studying uh, what legal, uh, um, how we can move legally no? uh, to prevent also certain acts from happening again. No? Uh, that's quite a challenge also given a wala kami centralized database for us to look at uh, other cities and uh, type in a name to check if a person has already been vaccinated in another city or province. No, uh, That is something that the national government has to address. And I think the ICT is trying to figure out no, how to centralize the database. And I, I think they're also working on it. Mm -hmm. So, sige, Jackie, go. Is this the first time it uh, you receive such complaints or concerns na uh, nagka double double yung vaccines nila and from other cities pa? Well, um, so far wala pa naman na ganung karampant no because syempre the only reason kung paano natin alaman na merong nag nag booster shot is because the person posted it on social media no. So I wouldn't be surprised if there are other incidents like this, not just in Quezon City, but other cities as well. That's why it's a personal plea coming from the local government now for them not to abuse the vaccine rollout and to be more selfless, to think about other people who have yet to receive a, a single dose. And at the same time, given the erratic uh, supply of vaccines that we are receiving, eh marami pa tayong mga kababayan na hindi pa nababakunahan. So let's consider that also.